All right, guys, on another job today for a fellow hunter. This might look familiar to some of you guys. He's got old brush piles. Oh, if you can see it there, right over there, over there. There was one right there that I mulched up for him. An old brush pile over there. Got a tree stand over there. There was a brush pile right here that I mulched up. There's another little brush pile there. And another brush pile over there and one over there. You know, like most of us hunters, you, you try over the years to clean up areas to where you can see to hunt with a chainsaw in your spare time. And, and this is what it ends up looking like. You know, you've got sprouts here that are 20 feet tall, whatever they are, 15, 20 feet tall right here and as you can see I'll do a little video from planted over here on the other side we're kind of pointing back towards that tree stand but you know the it kind of defeats the purpose of having a stand if you can't see I mean, that thing's probably 25 yards over there and there's no way even in the winter time with the leaves off you can't shoot through this wall of stuff got a real nice big pond down here that we be mulching around that you really can't see very good either but it goes all the way back up in there. Probably at least a two acre pond looks like. But uh, a little bit of video is try to open this up and you know, it's one of the reasons why I got into doing what I'm doing is because I just love being outdoors and like, you know, making people's land better and more usable, whether it be for pasture, for making hay, for hunting, just increasing property value, getting it ready for sale, whatever. But, uh, I'm going to do in about eight hours today probably what this hunter would literally spend the next 15 to 20 years piece at a time trying to get it cleaned up the way he likes it and it'll still just keep growing back up. I mean he probably did this two years ago and look at it you know so that's the same frustrations that a lot of us and you know once you get to the point in life where you know maybe you didn't have enough money to hire someone for a thousand dollars to come in and do this once a year but you know it sure is nice if you once your hard work pays off to where you can afford to spend a thousand twelve hundred dollars whatever to have someone come in and one day with one of these and do what you could literally take 15 to 20 years to do and still not ever really be able to enjoy it like he'll be able to this year because it would be done a piece at a time a piece at a time a piece at a time so you'd have a grown up mess over here and a nice little clear spot over here. The next year this is grown up and you've worked hard and got a spot cleared over here. Well after today it's all gonna be clear where he can see all the way to the pond, both ends of the pond, back behind him, down that way. Throw some grass seed in here. The deer are still gonna love it. You know, I've had a few people comment that, oh, you clean this all out. That's why we don't have any quail or wildlife or anything you know if, if you've seen this spot that i'm going to clear out that's going to make it magnificent for this guy from the air from a drone from an airplane it'll be one little dot compared to all the overgrown stuff that's still left all the way around so there's still going to be plenty of cover for any wildlife you know I, one guy commented something about well it's because of the state parks is why we have so much grown up stuff well that's just a needle in the haystack uh, state park land all these private lands all over the place they're all growing up like that i mean this is just the way it is in missouri you know that stuff just grows rampant so i'm gonna get some video and show you guys a little bit of action cleaning this stuff up and some after pictures also make it look awesome
you can see there are some stumps in there that slowed things down a little bit. Normally that would have taken about a third of that amount of time to clear that this little bitty patch right there. Usually would take probably less than a minute, but you can see there is a tree stand over there that you can now see. So, yep, that's pretty much it. Like I said, I'll do some before and after pictures and got a lot more work to do here. I'll probably get at least four or five, six acres, something like that. Cleaned up pretty good today, so. And here's the same area that I walked through. Got that all cleared out. Cleared out down through there. Where you can see the very good noise, but it's down there, a big pond down there. Cleaned out up through that way. And all the way up through there, a couple hundred yards or so. Turned out pretty good. A lot of stumps, but it made it go a little slower than what it normally does. Every one of these they had sprouts growing around them. You gotta hit them from like four or five different angles to get them where normally you could just run over that area and back up and it's done. So that slowed me down and there's trees laying down all over the place. Dead trees everywhere. So that slowed me down too. But still looks pretty good.